Hi, how are you all? Today's topic is congruent triangles. Yes, congruent triangles. That is congruency. It's a very, very important part of the subject called mathematics. Now the thing is that, first of all, let me tell you what is called congruency. I mean congruent triangles. What is the meaning of that? Okay. First of all, let me tell you that, uh, uh, say, sometimes we see that, sometimes we say that, uh, uh, say, two persons, and we are saying that, or yeah, they are same to same. The persons are same to same. That means they are congruent. Yes, same to same. That word is the meaning that indicates congruence. So, <clears throat> if I tell you congruent triangles, congruent triangles, that means two triangles same to same. Two triangles same to same. That is, their sides are equal, their angles are equal. Like, say, this is a triangle ABC. And this is another triangle PQR. Okay, so ABC and PQR. If I tell you that AB equal to PQ, AC equal to PR, and BC equal to QR, I mean all the three sides are same. Even all the angles are also same. Like angle A equal to angle B, angle B equal to angle Q. Angle C equal to angle R. Okay, that means two triangles with equal sides and equal angles. That means they are congruent, same to same. <coughs> same to same. These two triangles are congruent. In that case, I can write triangle ABC congruent to. Yes, this is the symbol of congruency. This is the symbol of congruency. This triangle congruent to PQR. This triangle. Okay. So when two triangles are congruent, then we can write in this way. Now the question is that if I ask you, if I ask you, say I'm giving you two triangles. Okay. I'm giving you two triangles and I'm asking you to show that two triangles are congruent or not. That you have to prove that two triangles are congruent or not. Then what are the criteria? What are the conditions you have to show to prove that two triangles are congruent? You understood my question? Let me repeat the question. What are the conditions? What are the criteria you should follow to prove that two triangles, two given triangles are congruent? So let us discuss those conditions. Okay. First condition, condition number one, C. Say this is a triangle ABC and PQR. PQR, this is ABC. Two triangles are given. I'm going to discuss the first criteria, criteria number one. <coughs> that is, if you see all the sides of this triangle are equal to the, all the sides of this triangle. I mean all the sides of both the triangles are equal. Like AB equal to PQ. Okay. AB equal to PQ. AC equal to PR. And BC equal to QR. I mean all the sides are same. Okay. Corresponding sides are same. This is called corresponding sides are equal. Okay, in that case, you can say that triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR. So, we got the first criteria side, side, side. So, what is the first criteria? So, criteria number one is side, side, side. Okay, SSS criteria. Understood? So, if you see that all the sides of the first triangle is equal to the corresponding sides of all the of that second triangle that means two triangles are congruent so this is the first criteria if you show SSS criteria means you can write triangles are congruent okay now let's discuss the second criteria 
in second criteria, so this is the triangle ABC and this is another triangle PQR. Okay, first triangle, second triangle. In the first one, the first criteria we show that site, site, site. Okay. Now, the second criteria is here you can show that this side equal to this side. Sorry. This side equal to this side. Okay. This side equal to this side. Understood? Two sides are equal. Okay. This side equal to this side. This side equal to this side. Means corresponding two sides are equal. Third side you are not able to show. Third side you are not able to show. Only you are showing these two corresponding sides are equal. In that case, if you show the angle between those equal sides, angle between those equal sides, this is the angle between those equal sides. This is the angle between those equal sides. So if you show that angle A equal to angle B, Okay, angle A equal to angle B. In that case also, you can say both the triangles are congruent. That means triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR. Understood? So what criteria is this? Side, angle, side. Yes, side, angle, side. So second criteria is side, angle, side. Okay, this is the second criteria. Let us discuss the third criteria. Criteria number three. Criteria number three. This is a triangle ABC. This is another triangle PQR. Okay. Two triangles are equal. We have to show that these two triangles are congruent. So, what is the third criteria? Third criteria is in first criteria, you show three sides are equal. Three corresponding sides are equal. In the second criteria, you show only two corresponding sides are equal. But in third criteria, say we are only able to show only one corresponding side is equal. Say this equal to this. Okay. Only you can say that this equal to Q1. Okay. In that case, you have to show two angles. Okay. This side you have to show. Now you have to show two angles. Like you have to take those angles in this way. Angle, 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 angle. I mean B equal to Q, C equal to R. And between those angles, the side which is there, you have to show that they are equal. You understood my point? I said two angles you have to show equal. Then between those two angles, a side is there. Between these two angles, side is there. This side equal to this side you have to show. Okay. In that case also, they are both the triangles are congruent. So what is the third criteria? Yes, correct. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. So third criteria is, I am writing the third criteria here. Third criteria is, Angle, side, angle. Okay, this is the third criteria. Let us discuss the fourth criteria. Fourth criteria is say this is a triangle, this is another triangle A, B, C, P, U, R. Okay, now what is the fourth criteria? Fourth criteria is Angle, angle, side. Yes, that is also possible. Angle, angle, side. How? See. Angle, angle, equal. Angle, angle, equal. That you show this side. This side. So, what is the arrangement? Angle, angle, side. It's not angle, side, angle like that. No. Angle, side, angle. Here the side is lying between. Here the side is lying between angles okay but here the side is beside the angles not between the angles okay so angle angle side angle angle side so what is my fourth criteria angle angle side this is the fourth criteria okay another criteria is there that is the last criteria what is that criteria 
but there is a limitation before tell me before discussing that criteria let me tell you that there is a limitation of that criteria what is that limitation that criteria is applicable only and only for a right triangles i repeat the criteria which i am going to discuss now that is fifth criteria that fifth criteria is only and only for right angle triangle okay so let us discuss that criteria so i said for right triangles so right triangles let us draw the right triangles okay this is a right triangle say a b c this is 90 degree okay this is 90 degree right here is another triangle say p u r this is 90 degree okay so what is that criteria according to that criteria first of all you have to show first and second triangle an angle is 90 degree okay an angle is 90 degree yes obviously this is angle is 90 degree this is also 90 degree so angle b equal to angle q y by the same because both are 90 degree okay 90 degree each understood now i have to say the hypotenuse are also equal hypotenuse means this are called hypotenuse no we know that in a right triangle in a right triangle this is 90 degree this is called hypotenuse so you have to show that both the hypotenuse are equal okay so what is the hypotenuse say this hypotenuse and this hypotenuse are equal okay so first of all you have shown 90 degree then you are showing hypotenuse are equal after showing hypotenuse are equal except this hypotenuse how many sides are left yes except this hypotenuse this side and this side are left this side and this side are left so we can say that means we have to show that say this side and this side are equal we have to show means this side and this side are equal or you can show or or you can show this side equal to this side means any one you have to show either you show this two are equal or you show this two are equal any one any one side are equal you have to show got it so 90 degree means right angle 90 degree means yes right angle so this is r so what is that criteria what is the last criteria r h s r h s r means right angle 90 degree h means hypotenuse s means side okay so these are the five criteria any one criteria you have to use to show two triangles are congruent understood so i repeat congruent means the triangles which are same same to same and any one of this criteria you have to use to show two triangles are congruent you do not have to show all the criteria only one any one okay in our next video we will are going to we'll discuss more sums means how to apply this right here we'll discuss on that okay this was for today thank you